Hi everyone, I hope you're ready to start reading today. Today we are going to be setting purpose, reading our engagement text and then our decodable reader. Materials! Let's get our thinking caps on. Are you ready? We have three learning targets today. I can retell the events from the engagement text, Pat's Lunch. Using evidence from the text, I can answer questions about Pat's Lunch. And finally, I can read the decodable reader, Pat's Lunch. Transition song. It's time to hear a story, a story, a story. It's time to hear a story and say what you've learned. Read aloud. Listen carefully as I read our new story this week, Pat's Lunch. After we finish reading together, I'll ask you some questions and we'll talk about what happened. So sit back and enjoy the story. Pat's Lunch. Pat and I ran to the window. We opened up the curtain to look outside. The rain was pouring down. No park today, said Grandma. Pat and I were disappointed. It had rained for three straight days. We really wanted to play at the park and have a picnic. But then Grandma had an idea. Let's have a picnic inside on the rug. We sat on Grandma's rug and pretended it was grass. Grandma turned on the lamp and we pretended it was the sun. Grandma went to the pantry and found our special lunch bags and put our lunches inside. Pat loves zippers, so Grandma let her help. Pat giggled as she zipped up the bags and brought them to the rug. Then. Grandma said, if you are very careful, I will let you use dishes on the rug too. We thought this was a great idea. She brought us each a plate and a cup of fruit punch. Pat sipped fruit punch from her sippy cup. We were having so much fun already. Next, Pat took her chips from the bag and dumped them all over the rug. What? a mess. She tried to clean it up and the chips got all over her fingers. So she wiped her chubby hands on her pants. Now her pants were a mess too. Grandma put the rest of Pat's lunch on top of a placemat so she wouldn't make more of a mess. The chips made Pat thirsty. So she sipped some fruit punch from her sippy cup. When we were finished eating, it was time for Pat's nap. Our picnic was so much fun that we forgot that it was raining outside. Pat grabbed Blanky and Kitty Cat and fell asleep on the rug. You were such a great listener. Can you retell the events of the story? As you retell, think about what happened in the beginning, the middle, and the end. Question and answer. Today, in the text, the author said that Pat was disappointed. What does the word disappointed mean? Mm hmm. It means that you are sad about something. I'm sure we have all felt disappointed at some time when something didn't happen that we were really looking forward to. What was it in this story that made Pat feel disappointed? That's right. She really wanted to go to the park and have a picnic, but it was raining outside. Woodwork. 
Let's look at some high frequency words. Look at the top word with me. Let's tap it out together. D, I, D, did. That's right. I'll use that one in a sentence. Dad did the dishes after dinner. The word did is a high frequency word that plays fair, so we can easily decode it. Let's take a look at some other high frequency words we're going to see this week. They are on, she, are, her, and has. Read aloud. This book is based on the text that we just heard together. It's called Pat's Lunch, and it is filled with words that you can read. You'll also hear the high frequency words that we just talked about. When you hear them in this book, go ahead and touch your nose. We are listening for the words did, on, she, are, her, and has. Let's get reading. Is the sun up? Did the sun quit? Did you find a word on this page? That's right, did. Pat has lunch on the rug. Pat has dishes on the rug. The rug is fun. Did you spot the high frequency word has two times on this page? The lamp is the sun. Were there any new high frequency words on this page? No, but you might have spotted the word the from our previous lessons. This is Pat's bag. She zips up the bag. There is a high frequency word on this page that starts with the digraph sh. Did you hear it? Mm-hmm. She. Pat has punch in a cup. What did you hear? That's right, has. Pat has chips. She dumps chips on the rug. The chips are on Pat's pants. I heard has, she, and are. Pat has a mat. Her lunch is on the mat. Mm-hmm, has and her are both on this page. Pat has a cup in her hand. What did you hear? That's right, has and her are both on this page. Pat naps on the rug. Were there any new words on this page? Nope but you might have spotted the word the from last week's book. Great job reading. Closing reflection. Wow, fantastic work. What tools did you use to help you read the book, Pat's Lunch? Maybe you are thinking about how you decoded words and found high frequency words along the way. Continue reading and answering questions about the text as you read other books this week. I can't wait to keep reading with you again next time.